Oh my goodness. Are you ready to be all done? <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. Welcome back to our channel. It is a new day. It is Monday, which means that Logan is already gone. He is at work. And it is just Lou and I at the house today. Come here. Come here. We've got a lot of things to do today. I have to edit the zoo vlog. Oh my goodness. I put it all together the other day and it's like over 20 minutes long. So I have to go through and clean some of that up. I'm gonna do circle time here with Lou in just a second. I just need to make myself some coffee first. And then it looks like it's gonna rain. So I don't know if we're gonna be doing too much outside of the house. I do have a ton of laundry to do today, like a ton to fold because we washed a bunch of laundry yesterday. But it's gonna be a really good day. It's just gonna be me and Lou hanging out and just doing some fun little activities here at home. So stay tuned because I think it's gonna be really fun. Just then, spring appeared. Look, Lou, this is a heart. This is a square. A for A. This is an N for n, n net. You did such a good job. Are you ready to be all done? Are you ready to be all done? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. Okay, well, I just put Lou down for her first nap and I actually get to drink the coffee that I made this morning now, <laughs> hallelujah. But I just wanted to go over a few things with you guys. So I realized that that circle time, there was a lot of things that I was kind of, you know, going over with her and it was a lot at once. And really, um, like I said in our last vlog, the um, homeschool preschool shopping haul vlog, which go watch that one if you guys haven't yet. But in that vlog, I kind of talked about how how I'm not really doing any sort of like structured curriculum or anything. I'm just kind of trying to get Lou to normalize this idea of circle time and sitting down and focusing for a few minutes so that um, we can do some learning and some school stuff. So there's not really any structure going into it. I'm just kind of like reviewing some information with her in hopes that she retains some of it. But it's more so, like I said, so that she is kind of becoming more associated with this idea of, hey, we're going to be doing this every day. So...
right, well now that Lou is awake from her nap and she's had something to eat and she's rolled out some of her energy, I'm gonna do a little like craft activity with her. This activity is called sensory painting. So what you do is, I, I thought that I had a bunch of little tiny canvases from the Dollar Tree. That's why I didn't buy any the other day when I was there, but I don't apparently. I can't find them anywhere. So I just used regular construction paper. And what you do is you lay out the construction paper. If you wanna like cut out a specific shape after everything's done, I usually just take a Sharpie and draw the shape on the paper. Then you put little drops of the paint on the construction paper or canvas and you slide it into a plastic bag. The only baggies that I had available were just tiny little sandwich bags, so it was a smaller scale painting. And then you zip up the sandwich baggie and you lay the whole thing in front of her and she just kind of like touches all the different little paint spots or like rubs it around and that's what makes it sensory is that like if she's not making a mess, because she's such a baby, you'd want to be careful that she's not like, gonna eat paint and stuff. So you put the baggie, or you put the painting inside the bag so that she's not actually touching any of the paint with her hands. And then she just sort of rubs that paint around. And when she's all done, you take the painting out of the Ziploc bag and you lay it down on a like paper towel and you let it sit for a few hours to dry. Then once it's dry, you kind of cut out the shape that you drew on the paper. So I did a heart and so once it's all dry, I'm gonna cut out and then it'll be a nice little painted heart that'll probably go into her little baby scrapbook. So I'm really excited to try it out. My anticipation is that she's not actually gonna paint herself, but that it's gonna be more of me wrestling with her to not like eat stuff. And I'll probably be doing most of the like poking around and showing her how the activity is supposed to go. The paper bag princess. and <gasps> love monster. The end. God's love in my heart. The end. Are you gonna crawl? Are you gonna crawl? It is a few hours later. Logan and I just had dinner and we are feeding Lou her dinner right now. You guys gotta see how cute she is. What do you have? There was a little pile of chicken right here that was all shredded and then obviously green beans. <laughs> this is our first time ever actually having meat and she's doing a great job for someone who doesn't have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, just to fill you in, I kind of sort of filmed like a day in the life vlog today. Oh, yeah, I did. But uh, now that you're home, I guess we can just go ahead and end this vlog. Guys, tomorrow is our anniversary. Two years. Yep. Two years that we've been married. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Two years and a baby. This baby, not any other babies. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and end this vlog here, and then we're going to try and film an anniversary vlog. But okay. honestly, I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything for our anniversary. Yeah, just probably every... have to wait until like the weekend or something. I, I don't know. With everything that's going on with this pandemic and then 
you know, Lou and I just don't know if we're really gonna be able to do anything other than just me making a nice dinner here at home. Maybe I'll shower. <laughs> So that way I'm clean for our dinner. Oh yeah. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe on both YouTube and Facebook if you have not done so already. And make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up, give it a like because it really supports our channel. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to tick the notification bell down below so that you get notifications every single time we post a new video. Hey, what else should they do? Hey guys, you should go tell all your friends. Go tell all your friends about our channel, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys.